recently uh, did this video yesterday and did not like the way it turned out, so we're reshooting it today. So we're gonna get a light on so that it's not this weird light barrier. I don't know what's happening. And we're gonna start this video. So if you're interested in hearing about my natural hair, um, was at this point in the video, I forgot the word journey. The word is journey for some journey. That's the word. <laughs> My natural hair journey. They keep watching, and we're gonna fix the lighting. I don't. <sighs> been probably three months since I posted a video and the last video I posted was like a, a vlog an old vlog from December <laughs> sorry uh, but I posted and asked you guys if anybody wanted to hear a little bit about my natural hair journey because I did a video that video is old it was on this channel it's not anymore I removed it for my own personal <laughs> For pride, pride basically, because uh, it was pretty rough. Uh, so yeah, that video is gone, so I'm gonna do an updated version of my natural hair journey. Uh, so my natural hair journey kind of started uh, when I was like 12-ish. I got my first perm when I was six-ish, kindergarten age, somewhere around there, um, because I was major jelly that my sisters all had straight hair and I had puppies. It was trendy, it was cool. Everyone else had perms and I did not. So I got my hair permed for the first time when I was like six, from six or so to 12. That's pretty much what we did. And if I remember correctly, when I was 13 or so, uh, natural hair YouTube became a really big thing. Um, so there were tons of channels, of people talking about their natural hair journeys and what they did, big shops, and like how they do their natural hair. And it was so cool and I was like, I wanna do that. And my mom said, you're not gonna do that. So I did not do that. 2010 or 2009 um, is when I stopped perming my hair and I just kind of let it grow out, which was, there were some moments. There were not great moments in 2009, 2010. Pretty much until 2012, probably. It was, there were some rough moments. Um, so I kind of did a lot of Bantu not out, twist out, straightening kind of deal to hide the texture difference between my very bone straight, uh, permed, relaxed hair and my new growth that was coming in. So yeah, 2011, it was pretty much grown out. And that's where it really kind of got started and then I started ex experimenting a little bit with um, Marley twists I think that was 2011 2012 so yeah 2013 or so um, is when it really started growing like for real is growing um, and it's just been um, getting down what worked for me like my hair care routine and all that stuff um, before I started college I had time to spend on my hair because I was I was at home every day so I spent time on it I deconditioned it and loved it and wore a mini twist and I took time and effort did like co-wash treatments and like sat under hooded dryers while my hot oil treatment worked like I did it all I did all all the trendy natural hair stuff I did in like 2013 um, and 14 because I, just, I had the free time and then I went to college and then I didn't have any more free time. Um, I wore a skull cap pretty much every single day after my first semester. So my hair was pretty much in braids and twists and sometimes I'd blow it out and put it in braids and twists and wear it underneath my skull cap like very rarely in that couple years was it like out out because I had to wear a skull cap and that covers your hair so there's no reason for me to have my hair all cutesy so last semester of college or so I kind of started doing a little bit more because I didn't have as many classes that required me to wear my skull cap uh, retail really did allow me to do whatever I wanted to do when I was working in retail and even when I worked at the hotel for a while because I worked night shift at the hotel it didn't really I kind of just wore it in twists and it, it, it was what it was like nobody saw me so it didn't really matter it was still socially acceptable and business like but it was I mean I had twists in and I just wore it however and 
then when I started my my corporate office job and sitting in a office all day every day about two years ago um, I was straightening it a lot it was blown up pretty much every single time I'd, I'd wash it every week or two um, and blow it out and put twist in it was still blown out so that I could at least show the length and then if I need to take it down I could live it in I tried kind of last year to not do as much it didn't work for very long it lasted for like the spring of 2019 where I wasn't doing any heat and then by summer it was over I was putting all the heat in it again um so this year my goal was I'm gonna not put any heat in my hair and then the pandemic happened Oof. the happened <laughs> at the beginning of the year and it worked out really well so I haven't put any heat in my hair for now we're at like seven months no heat and she seems Beverly seems to be you know feeling good about that we're we're enjoying it so I do like a braid out once a week or a twist out or something I take it down once a week um wear it out I'm kind of on this weird like every I know this sounds some people are gonna think this is nasty it's not though it's like every two weeks I wash my hair but let me say this I put water in my hair and rinse my hair every week several times a week but I don't put shampoo in my hair except for like every two weeks or so um so right now we're on the second week of a wash so what's gonna happen probably Saturday I'll probably do my little mud mask and if you guys want to see that I can do a video of how I do my mud mask and my hair it is time consuming it's kind of my big cleanse for like the month if you guys want to hear some more stuff about like natural hair or the skincare stuff any of that stuff drop me a line or comment down below all, all the YouTube stuff that people tell you to do subscribe like leave comments and questions um, I'd love to talk with you guys more about natural hair stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to hang out again and talk more about natural hair, because that honestly was just like the very surface level, very surface level. If you guys want to go in depth about some stuff or anything at all, let me know. And I'll gladly sit down and we'll have a chat again. So make sure you guys are subscribed so that whenever the next time in another two months when I post a video, you'll know about it. Um, and uh, like this video so that I know that you actually like it. Because if nobody likes it, then I'm just not going to post anything else. Pretty much. And uh, yeah. See you guys in the next video.